To connect IntelliJ to your Panasonic camera, once you have properly calibrated your inputs, you will be able to select the camera type. So we select Panasonic G series here and the type of protocol, which in this case is Wi Fi. And you'll have to input a series of credentials regarding the Wi Fi of your camera. But to simplify this for you, we have implemented a QR code scanner inside the IntelliJ app. Before I show you how to use the QR code scanner, let's see what we have to do on the camera. So we press the Wi Fi button and we go to new connection, remote shooting and view. And you'll get this screen which has the SSID and password written or this QR code scanner which you can also zoom in and once you open the QR code scanner in the app you can point your phone towards the screen of the camera and get the credentials automatically filled in for you. In case uh, the QR code scanner does not work properly you can still input the values manually, please make sure that you input them exactly as you see them on the screen of your camera. You also get here an IP address. This, as far as we know, is the same for all Panasonic cameras, but in case in, in the future uh, camera models this IP address uh, changes, you must make sure you input the correct IP address of your camera. Another trick that I want to, to show you is that once you have everything set up, the quickest way to have your Wi-Fi activated is by long pressing the Wi-Fi button on your camera. And if you do so, it will take you directly to the last type of uh, connectivity that you've set in your, in your camera.